Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Exception. I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 736. Now, I'm only going to talk about the interesting things that happened within this episode, so let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to mention is the conversation between Akainu and the Gorose, where we basically find out that Akainu is blaming them for everything that happened involving Fujito, I mean not Fujito, involving Do Flamingo, and they are saying back to him, boy, you need to like, you actually need to watch your mouth and recognize who you're talking to. And it's during this time that we find out that the bla- that <laughs> that Okoji is now joined the Blackbeard Pirates and as soon after we find that out a um, guy comes rushing in to tell Akainu about what's going down and just for so right now for me I feel that this scene, this scene was actually rushed I feel that we should have spent more time on this scene and the way I feel this is, I think this is because like for example as soon as we was told about a Koji joining the Black Bear Pirates, it was quickly overshadowed by this guy rushing into Tara Kanu, the news about Dress Rosa. So I feel like it lessens the impact. And yeah, I just really think that more time should have been spent on this scene. We had the reactions of people all over the world finding out the news. We had all these different like pirate groups and armies finding out that Dolphin has been defeated so they're not going to get their weapons this led to surrendering this led to people being angry at Luffy and Law we also had some that's like the least interesting ones for we also had uh, like reactions from the different supernova so we see Capone and we find that yeah he's off the Caesar we see Bonnie no, we, see, we actually see Bonnie and the last time we see her she was getting captured so she has escaped was she let go, was she set free and if she was set free how did she do it we see the, the Kid Alliance again and this is where we find out that they are going off the shanks now I said it when this came up in the manga so I'm going to say it again now silly boys <laughs> they are actually silly boys now I know it's not being confirmed but I just feel like Shanks is the strongest Yonko and I feel like that, that pirates have been the one piece for a day. They, they know this. Everybody know this. Everybody know it. I feel like this is common knowledge for the one piece world. So for them to even want to target Shanks, I just gotta think silly boy because he turned up to a wall and said like if you wanna continue, I'll be your opponent and nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted it, so it's just I just just feel like yeah that the silly boys from even attempting it, they have to come with like a serious plan if they want to if they want to be him. They gotta catch him slipping, they gotta catch him in his sleep, and even that might not work because it didn't work for Ace and Black and White Beard. So yeah, they just gotta come correct. And even with this scene, now that I just think about it, I didn't feel it. The same things that I felt in the manga, I didn't feel it here at all. Obviously, I know it's coming in the anime, but I should feel a little something. But I didn't feel anything at all. The last thing I think worth talking about is the argument between Akainu and Fujitora where Akainu is basically like Fujitora what did you do what was you playing at etc etc Fujitora is like yeah but I wasn't going down at that I wasn't becoming a hero for no reason I wasn't I wasn't taking the um not the rap um he just basically wasn't taking the glory from this so he's like, yeah, but so I did that when a kind was just getting mad. He was just getting mad and mad and mad. He's like, do you know what, Fuji? Do you know what, Fuji? You're not allowed to step foot back into a navy base until you bring me the straw hat, straw hat, Luffy and Law. Kind was like, I mean, not kind of. Fuji told us that like, fine. That's the way I wanted it. Again, 
only focused on the interesting things. There are more things that have happened that I could talk about. But I'm just going to leave it there. There are things to come. I could spoil some things. But I'm going to leave it there. We also find out one more thing that I mentioned that Dolphy killed X Drake's dad. And that was a long time ago. And he said, that, Yeah, he doesn't hold no grudges about that. That's the, I think that's the last thing I'm going to mention because if I start talking about other things, I'm going to go into spoiler. But don't worry. Remember this day. I'll remember it when the film comes. I'll tell you about it. But yeah, I'll give a lot of. Uh, I'll give it a two star rating because you know things are rushed, scenes are rushed. The uh, uh, Kainu um, Gose scene I feel was rushed, and the little scene of the Kid Alliance announcing that they're off the shanks, I think that could have been better. But yeah, so I'm gonna give it a two star rating and call it a review. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, but most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.